Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm standing right here because that bird dude will continue trying to shoot missiles at me even if he cannot see me and does not know that I am near. It's creepy, to be honest. Where are these getting all these munitions, anyway? Next level is just going to be a factory full of birds. Yes, yeah, so we need to find out what this does. Most bots do not do that when I do that. I now see that it didn't break and it's just moving from point to point. Unfortunately, I have no idea where that last one was. It did not seem the slightest bit familiar. Fortunately, there's other things to be doing right now. Last time we helped uh, little Bo Peep find her cowlex. This time... Yeah, that is a pod in a set. Okay. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy! The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Okay, just, okay, I just needed a minute to wrap my head around this. Sure. Sure, let's do that. Find the professor. I'm guessing it's cheating to go back to the hub world, so... Hey, bird Rambos! I get to see the anime, how the animation works. Did I miss something? They're always looking up. Do they need the other the flying birds to throw bombs to them or something? Gazoon type. I'm sure that's not important. He lied. Alright, I see the cowlack incidentally. I'm just not sure how to get back from here. But obviously, I punch him up here. Can I go back through the tunnel? No. That is a big gap. I would need the, uh, the super fire for that. Okay, I'll need to find another way around then. I also need to find that mole. Huh. That's weird. I'm totally certain that's not related to those seeds. Look, I'm just saying, there's a glowing seed, and like six feet from it, there's a noticeable hole in the ground. I don't have any advanced knowledge, I'm just saying. I've never been a big fan of the reasoning that if it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck, it must be a duck. Because, of course, there's always the possibility that it's a goose doing a very good duck impression. But, um... Yeah, but, um... There are things you can be certain about. Hey, there you are. What, is that a spotlight? Huh. So, you know, big hole in the ground, big seed. I don't know about ducks and geese, but, uh... When you've got one and two, I'm pretty sure I can see three. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, I mean, seed for you, in here uh -huh. somewhere. Ah, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Oh, God damn it! Hmm. 
Well, okay, obviously, I have to try it something stupid first. Oh. Okay. This is much chunkier than I was expecting. Check it out. Misplaced your seeds, have you? No. Nope. I can make all the plants shrink again if you'd like to start over. Okay, I'll try the other holes closer there to that platform. Be more careful with this one. Sorry. He took the seed back. I like that. Oh, I guess that... But if that was closer, then what do I do with that? Well, I'll try this one now. God damn it. Okay, then I guess it must be this one. Embarrassing. Here you go. Thank you, me. You know, I did note that Spyro himself seems to have considerably fewer lines in this game, just because there's so many other people to talk to. Yeah, the first one, most of the dialogue was little. It was a, a, a one-line exchange between Spyro and the dragons he was freeing. That's more like it. the hell? Did the Y button function like it used to. I didn't actually glide that time, that was on me. Alright, uh, alright, fair. This is uh, all about timing and all that. No, the hover didn't work. It works out here. And it works if I just jump off the ground, so I don't need height. Piss drink. Am I doing this wrong? Am I just supposed to stand directly on top of it and get pushed up? Because that animation kind of made me assume that I would get pushed aside. I need to find one that'll get me a second one, I guess, but... This seed thing Misplaced your seeds, have you? Here you go. Be I'm trying to be careful. I'm just dumb. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Misplaced your... Breathing fire on the cowlex, I understood. That's half of what I do already. Well, fuck it. I'll just go try all of them. I don't know why debris is raining from the sky, but it's mildly alarming. Hey, now we're onto something. Oh. Alright. That's one that I got. Is there one down here? I think there was. I thought there was. Oh well. What's this one accomplish? Oh well. Oh boy! Okay, I see how this works. I get up to the middle platform and then use that to get over there. So what do I do here, though? I need to get three in order to make this work, and I don't know how to make that work. Maybe if I talk to him now, he'll just drop both of the ones I've already used, because that would be really convenient. Misplaced your... Here you go. Piss. Functional here. Hmm. 
Hmm. God damn it. I can't tell if I'm overthinking this or just doing it wrong. I mean, yes, granted, that does basically describe every problem you could continue, you could possibly have. Let's see. The problem isn't that I am... I don't know. Ignoring the curvature of the Earth, the laws of gravity. There's a number of things I can see that it isn't. You know, it hasn't escaped my notice that, uh... The main plot of Control started when someone messed with a trans-dimensional portal they shouldn't have, and accidentally invited a resonance-based life form back to Earth to possess everybody. Uh... And now this game... They messed with a trans-dimensional portal they shouldn't have been playing with, and invited a... Deep-voiced, uh, diminutive lizard to come and conquer everybody. People really need to stop fucking with portals. Hmm. All right. That was the missing piece. That's what I was doing wrong. I suddenly thought to myself that it's strange that that one's all the way over there when it couldn't possibly be of use to anything else. So that's what I'm doing. I'm building the platforms over here. You know, I'm not a gardener, by the way. Here's this house plant I water. But, even so, I'm 99% sure that's not how fire and plants interact. Ah, victory is mine. That's a good sound effect right there. Yeah, I would have had the professor mention the fire thing. Given that, you know, most plants are just incinerated if you do that. Uh. I mean, that guy I'm supposed to be helping here doesn't actually have any legs, so I'm not actually sure this is going to help him. Well, he's a caterpillar of some kind. Maybe he can, you know... Oh, isn't this clever? Maybe he can just slime his way up the sides. Oops. Where does this go? Ah, that window over there. Still not sure what to do with these guys. Excuse me, mister. Oh, God. Hey, sorry about that. The game uh, alt-tabbed by itself. That happens a lot this year, and I don't know why. Up you go. You know, I will give them points for not allowing them to walk back down. 
I have played entirely too many escort missions where you can lose progress. Eh, maybe with that distance. Maybe I could do it that way. I just need him to get away from the wall. Or what the hell, let's try it anyway. That felt scripted. Well, you know. Fuck. In for a penny, in for a pound. isn't what I meant to do. I was aiming in this direction here so that the only the very edge of the fan would catch him in the hopes that it would push him in the direction in the opposite direction. If you're going to be a shithid about this, then uh Then the scorching of butts has begun. They seem to have some weird collision issues with each other. Damn, that was a good one. Get off of the wall, you fuck! Off you go. What the fuck do I do with you? You know what I do with you? I do this. Oh boy. Ugh, why isn't hover working? Am I holding it too long? Is that what that is? Do you really have to just tap uh, Y in order to hover? Let me try something. Alright, didn't let go. No, no, I thought I had it there for a second. I thought I had it backwards, but uh, no. I like that there's still one on the fence. Okay, let's do this. Seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. It's a hundred dollars. Another orb. Who could have guessed? Thank you. Well, it does feel good to take care of that. I will say that. Ahem. What light from yonder window breaks? Oh, is that? Oh, right! 
Yes, yes, of course. The Montagues and the Capul Capulets despised each other. So of course it's a worm and a bird. We, uh, we studied, uh, Romeo and Juliet when I was in high school. And, uh... The copies we had... They only had the script on half the pages, with the other half. Like, each one was... Each two-page spread was one page of uh, the, the, the play's script, and one page of explaining cultural references to audiences from hundreds of years later. I always thought that was really neat. For example, uh... You learn that Romeo's uh, rival, Tybalt, well, uh, there's a line in there somewhere where, you know, they're writhing each other up, and, you know, Romeo goes, you know, All hail Tybalt, the king of cats! And the joke there is apparently that at the time, Tybalt was a really common name for a cat. <laughs> it would be like, uh... You know, making fun of a guy for having a dog's name because he's called Rex. You know, without the, uh, the cultural explanation page, it's just a really weird insult where he calls him the King of Cats. I just found that very interesting. But it's something that's still in English could be so different from what they have today that, uh, it requires the book to be twice the length in order to explain everything. I don't know. We're uh, going to continue on this bizarre journey in the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2, Crypto's Rage. Oh, reignited. Yes, reignited. <laughs> Later.